Hi, this is Mark LaRochelle from Productive Computing, and in this video we're going to take a look at some FileMaker 17 features surrounding the Fields tab, the Objects tab, and the Inspector window. Stay tuned. Okay, for this video we're going to be using the Core 4 CRM as our sample application that Productive Computing makes available to the marketplace. It's a full-fledged CRM with all the bells and whistles, and it can be used as a starting point for any solution. If I go into layout mode here, you'll see immediately I have panels on the left and the right. So starting on the left, this is broken out into two tabs. I have my Field Picker tab, or Fields tab. It was called Field Picker in the previous version of FileMaker. And then I have my Objects tab. So first, before I talk about the details within each of these tabs, I want to show you a little bit about their personality and their responsiveness to shortcut keys. So you can show these or hide these under the View menu at the top. You'll see under View, I can click Objects, and then here I have Fields tab or Objects tab. So that's the way to get to it from the menu. But if you look closely, you'll see under that same area, you'll have Fields tab with a Command K, in this case on a Macintosh. It would be Control K on Windows. Objects tab is Command Option T. So it's much easier to learn the quick keys, the shortcut keys, than to go with the menu, in my opinion. So I'm holding now Option, Command, T, and it collapses or expands that. And then I can also type Command, K, and I'll go to the Field tab. All right, so starting on the left, the Fields tab is very similar to the previous version of FileMaker. In fact, I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Here on the left, I happen to take a screenshot that shows the previous Field Picker, and it was a floating window by itself. Here in FileMaker 17, the Field tab is anchored to the left side of the screen. It has a lot of the same personality traits. For example, I can search by fields, and I can also change the sort order by field type, field name, the order that it was created in, or a custom order of my own. Let's say I wanted middle name a little lower on the list. I can move that here and then always go back to my custom order to see my custom order. I'll go back to field name for now. Okay, besides searching fields, I can change the related table that I pick that field from. And let's just say I wanted the activities table. I can select that, and then from within that, I can search for a field. And then I can get my modified by field, in this case, as it relates to my activities table. Okay, so there's a lot of power just in this one little area of this tab. Now down here, you can create a new field, but first you have to make sure that your current table is selected, like so. All right, let's create a new field. Click New Field, and I'll put a new field called My Category. And I'll create another field called Your Category. These are probably really bad field names, but the point that I'm trying to make is I can search by category, and now those two fields show up like that. Let me make some room here in my Core 4. Even more info. I'll make a tab here, and then I'll show you the drag options. So I can select multiple here by shift clicking like so. And then I get the usual field picker options. Let's just go compare that to FileMaker 16. Here we go. So FileMaker 16 had the orientation on where the fields were placed, as well as the labels. None of that has changed. And in the previous version, you could add a new field. But I'm going to show you here a couple of nice add-ons in 17 in just a moment. So just to remind you again how these things work, if I want my fields oriented horizontally with labels on the top, I can select those options down below, and then I have fields horizontally with labels on the top. So you do get this added bonus here, which is control style, which is something you didn't have in FileMaker 16. So the control style, let me do some more field creation here, and I'll call it um, check one, check two, and check three. Now I'll find the check. And now I have three fields here that I just created, and it didn't take long to do that, as you saw. But now I can also depict a control style. And I want those three to be set up as a checkbox set. So let's drag those over. And you can see now it's preparing it for checkboxes. Probably a better orientation would be this with labels on the left. So let's do that again. There we go. So now I've got three checkboxes, and all I have to do now is from my inspector, select maybe a Boolean type checkbox. 
set like so and then make those a little smaller and now I have a checkbox set that I instantly created it saves a lot of time doing it that way when you have those control style options so you get edit box drop drop down list and all the usual styles that you're already accustomed to okay there's one other feature here on the field tab that I want to bring to your attention in the previous version of FileMaker 16 when you right clicked on any one of these fields you had two options you had the field option and then you could delete a field well you get an additional option here in FileMaker 17 where you can actually rename the field so that is a nice feature where you can actually rename a field right here in the fields tab okay now let's move on to objects in the previous version of FileMaker the objects window was a floating window and it looked something like this FileMaker 17 it's also docked here on the left and you get a lot of the same options so I can find by name and it'll bring up any object with the word name in it in this case or invoice and there's any object with a name of invoice I can filter by different types so if I want to show only my text type objects and I select them all it'll be selected here on my layout then I can highlight a particular field let's just say industry and if I want to focus on that highlight that let's say I want to work with just this particular field I can right click and hide all other objects and I can have the usual other things like hide objects in front hide objects in front and back specify an object name as well as conditional formatting so those are the same options as was previously seen in FileMaker 16 and just like in the previous version if I have all my types selected I can choose one particular object and drag it up or down in the list okay now let's move on to the inspector window so the panel is available to show or hide using command I and you'll remember in the previous version you can go under view inspector and new inspector and have a completely floating window in fact you can actually have multiple floating windows by just clicking new inspector and having that there so you haven't lost that feature where you can have it either anchored or floating or both so when I'm in layout mode and I select control I I can actually hide it from there and then just have a floating window which is a nice option that a lot of people like so some developers like this particular window positioned here and then maybe a second inspector window positioned on let's say this area so now you have both visible at the same time so when you click an object you can see all the attributes change in one view but let me show you a pro tip at least on the Macintosh you can bring up your keyboard system pref and click shortcuts and then click app shortcuts and create a new shortcut I'm going to show you how to do this manually go to other down here for application and then select FileMaker 17 click on your application icon and simply put in the name of the menu that you want to program a shortcut key for in this case new inspector and in this case I want the keyboard shortcut to be command shift I to bring up a new inspector window let me close the ones I have now and you'll see how cool this is alright so I'm in browse mode so I'm gonna go back to layout mode I can click the traditional command I to show the docked inspector here on the right or now I can, can select command shift I to bring up a new inspector window like so and I can have unlimited amount of inspector windows not that you'd ever need more than four technically but if you have multiple monitors you might actually want a couple inspectors here a couple inspectors there and that pro tip is there just to show you how cool that is to to be able to quickly pull up a new inspector layout mode control shift I and your new inspector window shows up just like that I hope you enjoyed this video for more content like this consider subscribing to our YouTube channel liking our Facebook page or following us on Twitter and LinkedIn we also have a monthly newsletter describing the latest happenings here from Productive Computing, as well as other industry-related news. Thanks for watching.